Now that you have a good idea on how to solve dry mixture problems, notice that dry mixture always involves um, the non-liquid kind, of course. Um, we'll jump right into wet mixture problems that involve solutions, mixing things together. Well, nonetheless, it is still a mixing kind of problem. Um, it is the same kind of concept, which is a good thing, though. Um, so take a look at this first problem right here that I have for you. Let's read this carefully and see if we can actually pick up anything along the way. Um, the problem is as follows. Um, how many quarts of pure pineapple juice should Theo add to a 20% pineapple drink to create 5 quarts of 50% pineapple juice mixture? I mean, uh, for me, I think what, what mixture um, kind of problem makes a lot of sense because you have two different things, you mix them together to form a brand new thing, and, and you can kind of see it here. First of all, I want to clearly... Um, you know, point this out to you, the word pure. The word pure is mean 100%, okay? It always means like that. Pure means 100%. So we have, so right off the back, we know we have 100% kind, right? And we also know that we are trying to mix it with a 20% kind um, to make a brand new 50% kind. Okay, so if you can actually clearly label your mixtures, that'll be great. Okay, and uh, right here it says how many quarts of pure pineapple because I don't know how many. I can just start with a variable. So X represents the 100% or the pure kind. And I don't know how many I need for my 20% kind either, so I can use another variable for it. Let's call that Y. And uh, in the last bowl right here, if, of course, I want to create a total of how many quarts here? Five quarts, so I know that this last bowl will contain five quarts of the 100% kind and the 20% kind. Okay, now to be very clear on this, I would definitely define a variable up here too. X is the um, the 100% um, the or pure pineapple juice. Okay, and of course, Y this is the, the number of quarts by the way. Okay. And Y is, of course, a 20% kind of, of uh, pineapple juice. And it's also in quarts. Just make sure you understand what we're doing here. And uh, similar to what we did before, we always add a cross. So that means the number of pure pineapple juice, a quart number of quarts, added to the 20% um, kind should add up to five quarts total because this is what we have at the end. And that when we multiply down, it basically tells that, remember, one last thing that I want to remind you is that, um, don't forget, 100%, uh, when you write it as an equation, you've got to convert percent back decimal. So 100% simply means one whole. And 20% uh, means 0.2 times y. And, of course, the last one's going to be 0.5 for 50% times 5 quarts. We're multiplying down, if you notice. Uh, we have ourselves, once again, two equation, okay? So if we want to solve for this, we can um, do it in many ways. We can use substitution again, or we can certainly use elimination. I, I really like substitution because the, you know either X or Y here can be solved for quite easily. So let's start by, let's say I want to solve for X. So X is 5 minus Y. Okay. So every time I see X, I can replace that with 5 minus Y. So I plug that right back into my second equation. So I have 1 times 5 minus y plus 2 tenths of y or 0.2y equals to 0.5 which is a half right half of 5 is 2.5 okay so if I, I clean this up it's just going to be 5 minus y plus 2 tenths of y equals 2.5 combining like terms I have 5 minus this is don't forget if I don't write it it's actually one whole right so it's right there negative 1 plus 0.2 which is negative 0.8y equals 2.5. Um, clean this up a little bit more. So it's subtracting 5 both sides. I have negative 0.8y equals 2, negative 2.5. If I divide it, y will equal to, in this case, it will be 3.125 quarts. Okay, so what is y again? Y is the 20% kind. I need three 
and one eighth of a quart, so 1.25 of 20%. And I need to know how many quarts of pure pineapple juice um, are needed. So I can just go simply plug that right back into here to solve for x, which is the pure pineapple. So it's going to be 5 minus 3.125, which will give you 1.875 quarts. Okay, so you see you can easily solve for this kind of problem um, in a matter of um, you know, minutes. Let's uh, have you work on this. Try this on your own now. Um, see if you can actually work this out. Let's copy this problem down. You can pause the video right now to write this down because I want to move on um, to another example. But uh, let me just kind of quickly um, summarize this for you. One type of antifreeze is 40% glycol. Another type of antifreeze is 6%. So right away, you have two kinds. The 40% kind and the 60% kind. And you want your end result to be a 48% kind. Okay? Um, read it carefully, and I want you to complete this. Moving on to our next example, very similar to the one we had before. It says that a chemist needs a 40% needs a solution of alcohol. So this is the final result. I want that as my final bowl. Um, he plans to mix 3 liters of 6% solution with 25% solution. So at least I know where to start off. I have two bowls. One is 6% solution. The other one is a 25% solution. And I want that final result when I mix these two together to be a 40% solution. Okay. Um, for this particular example, notice that um, he has... He plans to mix three liters, so I know exactly what I need to go into this bowl, three liters. So it's not like the previous example where I don't know how many quarts I need. This one I know exactly I'm going to mix in three liters of 6% uh, with a 25% solution. However, for the 25%, I don't know how many I need. So in that case, I just represent it using a variable. Okay. Now, I want a 40% kind. Um, so that means when I mix these two bowls together, 3 liters plus the unknown, which means the final amount here is just going to be 3 plus the unknown, right? Because I want to find out what it is. So once we have this filled out, I just have to add across and multiply it down like before. But uh, don't forget to define what x is. We know that x is the 25% solution. So uh, the number of liters of 25% solution, okay? Just quickly write something like that to know. And uh, when we add across, we have 3 plus x equals to 3 plus x. That's easy. And as a second equation, we obtain by multiplying down. So don't forget again, percent me is converted back to um, decimal. So it's going to be 0. 0.6 times 3. This one's going to be 0. 0.25 or a quarter times x. And this one right here is going to be 0.4, for, you know, 40% to 0.4 times it by 3 plus x. Okay, so we got itself two equations, but now if you'd analyze closely, we don't have to use both of them because this one, the top, we can't really use because they're the same. The second one, we only have one variable to worry about, so, you know, there's no need for a system equation this time. We don't need the top, top one is just, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, redundant. We don't need to worry about that. It's the second one that we can solve for. So let's try to clean this up a little bit here and you kind of see what's going on. Um, and uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the work for you to work on this one because you can simplify it and solve for x and that will tell you the number of liters needed uh, for the 25% solution here. Okay. So with that, I will give you your last practice right here. Please use this. You want to set this up on your own and uh, solve this. How many liters of 92 octane, you can certainly use that as a uh, percent, so you can convert it back to decimal, it should be mixed with 200 liters of 98 octane gasoline to produce a mixture that is 96 octane gasoline. So you have two different kinds mixing together to get a, a final kind of 96. So if you're trying to visualize that scenario, and uh, certainly set it up and, and solve it. I will we'll discuss this when you get back. Okay. All right.